It's your girl Kia from the Mocha in the Morning Show, and I am here with your Mocha in the Morning the Women's recap. Day. So to everyone watching this video, if you're a woman, happy International Women's Day. And if you are not a woman, I hope you are appreciating and loving all the women in your life. So let's just start off with our first thing. Get well soon, Whoopi Goldberg. Um, she actually recorded a video and it was shown on The View today that she is doing well and she is getting better and absolutely on the mint and will be returning to The View. There were rumors that she wasn't coming back, but she's absolutely returning to The View. She actually explained to everybody that she's been dealing with really serious pneumonia and that it actually almost took her own life. So it's an amazing to see that Whoopi Goldberg, an icon, will be returning to The View. We are so happy to see that. Welcome back, Whoopi. Speaking of coming back, Wendy Williams came back this weekend and her show isn't getting the best reviews. A lot of people are saying that it was a lot better when she wasn't around. She kind of skated over her own little drama, so we'll see how the ratings go for the next month. So the Jesse Smollett saga continues, but now it's involved in the Chicago Police Department. There has now been an internal investigation launched to find out where all these leaks came from. Because of all the cases the messy Chicago Police Department has had, this is the first case where leaks are coming out like a faucet that has been left on, honey. So I can cannot wait to see what the results of this, this is because this really is going to have an effect on the actual Jesse Smollett case and we also need to close up leaks in the Chicago the Police Department or start leaking everything. You can't have it either or. Elon Omar, girl, I need you to get it together or pick a side because you are not doing well as a freshman congresswoman. I get it. You are very opinionated. You are the first Muslim woman to be in Congress. We're all excited about that, but you need to pick a struggle between her anti-Semitic comments that she made a couple weeks ago to now her saying that even Obama had bad immigration policies, but he just says it better than Trump does. People aren't really sure where her butter, where her, excuse me, where her bread is buttered. And I really want her to come out and say that. What should you watch this weekend if you are stuck indoors? So. There's not a lot being released this weekend. I actually checked it out to try to see, but there's a couple of things that you might want to look at just in case. Uh, the Patriot Act with Hassan Minaj, great show, political show, comes on weekly. Really, really funny. Make sure you check that out. Blue Jasmine, that also was nominated for Oscars, also coming out on Netflix. Make sure you check that out. That was a very, very good movie. I love Kate Blanchett. Uh, and also, if you're happy to get out of the house, Captain Marvel, make sure you go check it out. This is Marvel's first full female lead movie. It is supposed to be so good. It's starring Brie Larson and Samuel Jackson. I can't wait to see how young they make him look because we all know he's in his 60s, but he's been really rocking out this Nick Fury thing for a while. So that was a really great to watch. If you haven't seen Leaving Neverland, it's still on. Make sure you check that out and the Oprah documentary afterwards. So, whew, deep breath. All done. So I can't wait to see everybody on Mocha in the Morning that airs next Friday. But please follow me on Twitter at Kia Shakur. Find me on Instagram at I am Kia Giovanni. And like my YouTube channel at Kia Shakur. All right. I will definitely, definitely, definitely see you soon.